Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and in this video, we're going to talk about API protection with Nginx App Protect. Uh, so APIs are a hot target right now for attackers. Applications are moving more to uh, API, you know, they're API driven. Um, and API attacks against applications can result in some, in some pretty extensive damage. Uh, you know, everything, everything from data exfiltration to, you know, any number of things uh, that you obviously do not want to have happen to your web application, right? So I wanted to talk about API protection specifically. And one of the key elements that I want to focus on today is whenever you employ a web application firewall, which that's what Nginx App Protect is, uh, you, want to, you want to deploy that as close to the application as you possibly can, uh, you know, to create the maximum amount of security and flexibility and, you know, all that stuff that you can. So you want it to get as close to the app as you can. So I'm going to draw a little picture here um, that kind of gives you an outline of several different, uh, you know, scenarios of how you could deploy a web application. So, you know, over here on this side, you've got users that are, uh, that are coming to, you know, uh, to visit your web application and you would have, uh, I'm going to put a soft software uh, load balancer right here. So let's say you have a software load balancer. I'll just put a little box around that guy. You could, uh, and I'm going to just put a little arrows here, you could deploy um, Nginx App Protect. So I'll just put Nginx App Protect, uh, which, ba which by the way is loaded on Nginx Plus. So Nginx App Protect, you could load it right here on the edge on the software load balancer, uh, you know, as needed. But if you if if you uh, choose to, you could come a little closer to the application itself. So I'm going to put a little line right here, and let's say you also uh, employ an API gateway. So I'll just put API gateway right here, um, or maybe you have an ingress controller you know, like Kubernetes ingress uh, controller. So I'll put that here. So API gateway or ingress controller, so, you know, uh, traffic may come this way as well, right? Um, you could actually load Nginx App Protect right here on the API gateway, and you could also load it right here on the Kubernetes ingress controller, right? So the API gateway, let's say you have uh, API endpoints, so I'll just put, you know, API endpoints here, you know, for your uh, application, then the API gateway, if you load Nginx App Protect on the API gateway, it's going to be closer to the API endpoints, which is going to give you more flexibility, more security, you know, against any kind of attack that would come against your API endpoints. But also, you may have, and I'll just put like an arrow up here, uh, I'll put monolithic apps, you know, up, up here as a representation. So let's say you have monolithic apps that are on, you know, some classic hardware, classic, you know, um, implementation kind of a thing, whatever, um, then you may, st you may have to protect those monolithic apps back here on the software load balancer with Nginx App Protect loaded here. Uh, but like I said, if you, if you have an API gateway, you know, that, that leads to API endpoints, you could start to move closer to the application or closer to these endpoints with the, uh, with the, um, Nginx App Protect web application firewall. Um, and then from here, I'm going to come down as well and say, so like an ingress controller, this is going to be, uh, you know, Kubernetes pods. That's not a goodie. Kubernetes pods, right? Uh, that, that would come, you know, through the ingress, ingress controller. But also you may have microservices. So I'll put microservices here, services. Right, and you could load Nginx App Protect. I'll just put Nginx App Protect right there. Um, so if you have microservices architecture, that kind of thing, then uh, then you can really start to get uh, you know extremely close, of course, to the application with the uh, Nginx App Protect uh, firewall. Um, so when we talk about API protection specifically, I just wanted to highlight the various types of deployments that you could have, anything from monolithic apps all the way down to microservices and where you can deploy the Nginx App Protect firewall to guard against any kind of, uh, you know, malicious activity that's coming against your application. So, you know, so when we talk about monolithic versus microservices versus Kubernetes, this is how all that would, uh, you know, would look or where you could deploy the Nginx App Protect firewall. All right, 
A couple of things I want to mention about Nginx App Protect, uh, you know, specific to API protection. Um, the APIs are managed by Open API and Swagger, and the Open API specification um, it defines an interface to RESTful APIs. This is a standard language agnostic interface. So the Open API specification defines that that standard language agnostic interface into RESTful APIs, right? So it's that definition. And then the Swagger specification, um, speci the, that specification defines a set of files that are used to describe the RESTful API or RESTful APIs. All right, so when you take Open API specification and Swagger together, these are the definitions that either uh, define the interface or define the set of files that are used to describe the API. And the, the cool thing about Nginx App Protect with respect to APIs is that you can take those files and you can set them right in the policy of the Nginx App Protect firewall. And so, of course, if, if those files are set in the policy, then any kind of, um, you know, any kind of change to those files or any kind of, uh, you know, modification uh, to, to those, the, the standards that those files define is going to be flagged and you're going to have a more, you know, secure uh, interaction with respect to API, um, you know, calls and all that. Uh, another thing that Nginx App Protect does is it looks for things like protocol compliance, API compliance methods, those types of things. Um, if you really want to add more sophistication to the Nginx App Protect policy, you can add things like URL and parameter um, specifications in the policy as well. Um, so the Nginx App Protect firewall policies can get really powerful um, and you can configure lots of different things in them. So, uh, so really powerful, um, you know, feature set here. And, and another thing that I wanted to highlight here as, as we've kind of talked through all this is this, uh, this Nginx App Protect uh, API protection um, does more than just client server communication. This also does machine to machine traffic. It protects machine to machine traffic. So this is, this is uh, east west you know, kind of traffic uh, that this is looking at. So, uh, so I wanted to mention that as well. Um, and then the, the last thing that I'll mention, as I said, you know, you want to just generally speaking, when you deploy a web application firewall for your applications, you want to deploy it as close to the application as you can, like I've said before. So, you know, um, ideally you bring it in, you know, as close to the application as you possibly can, right? But as you, when we talk about zero trust implementation, or zero trust models where you, you're just gonna, you don't trust anything, right? So you're gonna have to verify everything. Then as you move the, at the web application firewall policy, the Nginx App Protect policy um, or implementation closer to the application itself, then that's going to significantly help you um, achieve that zero trust implementation. So, you know, it's, it's one thing to talk about zero trust uh, just from a theoretical perspective, but it's another to say, okay, how? It, let, let's say I buy into that, which is good. Um, then how do you actually achieve that? And this is one of the practical ways to say, okay, if you really want to achieve zero trust, this is what you need to be doing. You need to move that policy as close to the application as possible. So like here in a microservices uh, deployment scenario, you can put Nginx App Protect right there um, at the microservices level. So really, really powerful um, solution set here with Nginx App Protect Firewall, and specifically, uh, like we've talked about today, um, it's, it's, uh, its ability to protect APIs. And, uh, you know, like I said, APIs are, uh, are the way of the future, and applications are more API-driven now than ever, and they will continue to head that direction. So you need to protect APIs. So, uh, so hey, I, I hope you've learned a couple things here with this Lightboard lesson video. If you like this thing, you can click up here on our Dev Central logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.